So David was given the Psalms, etc. But when it comes to hadith, hadith is something different. It means uh, narrations. Basically, anything which the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, anything which he done, is also the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, whatever he said or whatever he done in his actions is recorded. This is known as hadith. So in, in Islam, it was memorized by those around him, it was written down by those around, and it's collected. So in, Prophet in Muhammad said that Jesus is going to come and break the cross. Yes. So, but but the, the concept being, this, I, like for example, all of us, we're sinners. All of us, we have shortcomings, we have slips. As Muslims, we believe, for example, I commit a sin. If I lie, if I cheat, etc. I will turn to God, the most merciful. I regret what I've done. I feel bad about what I've done. I, I stop doing it. And I tell my, I make intention in future, I'm never going to do it again. And I ask God to forgive me. Oh my Lord, the most merciful, the most kind, forgive me. As Muslims, we believe you are forgiven. But sorry, sorry, let me just finish my point. But, but, but as Christians, you have a very strange belief. You, you, you believe that God will not forgive you for your sin. No, let me finish, let me finish. Let, let, let me finish, I haven't finished yet. Let, that, that line already is let, no, let, no, let, no, let, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Don't, don't beat me up. Let me finish. <laughs> Christianity teaches. It's, it's, not, it's strange, but this is what Christianity teaches. That God is the most merciful. He's the most kind. But He will not forgive your sins unless the second person of the Trinity comes down. Jesus, born of a woman eats food, becomes tired, becomes sick, worships God, suffers, overpowered by his enemies, and killed. Overpowered? Yeah, overpowered. They didn't take, the Romans didn't take him and oh, crucified. Okay, yeah, he, he suffered. Christianity says you cannot be forgiven unless you believe that God or a human sacrifice died for you. No. I think that's uh, a God. See how God, 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 yeah, has, God, like, God has already forgiven yeah, all of that's yeah. what, that's what, you're, what you're getting wrong is that you won't be saved unless yes. you accept okay. not forgiven. God has forgiven you. He's already forgiven you. Uh, but what, just because that's yeah. on the cross doesn't mean that you should sit back and What does salvation mean? Salvation is giving your life to Christ. Yeah, but you can't be saved, can you, unless the second person of the Trinity dies for your sin. That God so loved the world, yeah, 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 in order you yeah, may be saved. Yeah, he gave yeah. his only son. But we believe in a direct relationship between us and God. Now, we don't, we don't need someone to die. Like, Jesus mean? is God, so it's the Jesus same thing. Uh -huh. like, that, that's like one great time. For us to get to God. Is he that's God? How it is. is he God? He is God. What makes you say he's God? Apart from your parents told you. No, he said that a lot in the Bible. Yeah. Clearly, or it can be understood. Did he say, I am God and worship me? I am. He says, I am. I am. Yeah, yeah. I, am. I, am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Okay. I am. The I am. And the God professed himself as I, the I am. Yeah. The I am. The can I give you a very famous verse in the Bible? You're We don't accept it, but we, we, we accept the meaning is true. Uh, the book of John, or Gospel according to John. Yeah. No, 17, 3. That this is life eternal, that they may know you. 17.3. 17, John 17.3. Uh, yeah, I used to be Christian. Yeah. Yeah, so he said, this is, this is life eternal, that they may know you, the one true God. Yeah. And Jesus Christ, who you have sent. So Jesus is talking about someone else as being God. No. Wait, repeat the scripture again. One of you can read it if you want. John 17, they can read it. Free. And Jesus Christ, because you can't get saved if you don't believe that Jesus is, Jesus is God. He yeah. says you need to believe in God. I need to believe but that Jesus, Jesus is, God. is saying that they may know you, the one true God. Jesus yeah. is saying someone else is the true God. No. He is here in human form. Yeah, right? he's speaking from human form. He uh -huh. is in human form. So he's like us. Did Jesus have a God? No, Jesus is good. Okay, let me, Jesus is good. Let, let, human form. let me give you another verse. But God is a spirit, right? Okay. He's a spirit. Uh -huh. Meaning that because he's in human form, the only thing that he can pray to is the spirit form. Who is so he our father? He prayed right? to himself. 
praying. He was praying in the form as a human being. He prayed to God, yeah. To the, he's doing the same thing because he's a human being. Yeah. But he prayed to God, yeah. So where Jesus... He, his did, father, in fact. Did, no, no, did, father. Okay, oh, can I give you another verse? John 20, 17. Sorry. No problem. You have to read around. You have to read around. You can't just pick up. What does it say there? Don't cling to me. No, but even in general, why would Jesus say that I am that I am if it's not? Both. Okay. He's, he's he's very clear. Okay. He's no, he doesn't. He doesn't lie. He doesn't lie. So you guys also believe he never sinned, right? Jesus never sinned, right? We don't believe that. Where did it say that? You see, when um, I speak to you, other Muslims, yeah, yeah. We believe. We believe all well, the messengers. Can I yeah. tell you to check what to check to read? No. Okay. Can we just finish that one? Okay. If you don't mind. If you don't mind. Okay. This verse is saying after Jesus was crucified, which as Muslims we don't believe. After Jesus was crucified. One of the ladies around him came to him and he said, do not touch me because I have not ascended to the Father. The, the way she's checking. I have not ascended to the Father, but tell my brothers that I must ascend. A yeah, word to that effect. And, and I must go to my, my Father and your Father. Yeah. My God and your God. Yeah. So the, Jesus had a God. So how? No, but this is what Jesus we're trying to say. But if he did, is Jesus, Jesus, is Jesus God? Can God have yes, a God? Yes. Let me tell you why Jesus is God. Yeah. In John one one it says, yeah. in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, uh -huh. and then in verse fourteen says, and the Word became flesh. So that Word mm. is God. Yeah. Has to become flesh, and that flesh is Jesus. And then that's when He came. That's God. God. That was the only. Look, look, look. But this, this, this prelude, this uh, introduction to the Gospel according to John. It's not attributed to God said. It's not attributed to Jesus said. Whoever wrote John wrote that. And that, that belief, you can't find it anywhere in the Old Testament. You can't find it in any other book. Are you trying to say because Jesus did it? Are you trying to say because Jesus didn't write it? Yeah. That it's not from God. It's not right. It's not right. Yes. We, I can't, we could say the same about you guys. Yeah, you guys yeah, say no that problem, Jesus is going to break the cross. Because yeah. yeah. he didn't say that. He didn't Jesus say never that. said um, that. No problem, but the messenger Allah said it. Yeah, and yeah. also that our person who read the message said it. So, where do we go from here? Even you told someone else. They were there. John was there. Jesus was just best. Okay. Do you get it? Okay. The same way you guys justify your reasons. That's why Prophet Muhammad said he's going to break the cross. So. No problem. But can you can you show me where any of the author of the gospel gospels identify themselves and say that I received revelation or I've been inspired by the Holy Spirit? Did, did, did Prophet Muhammad? Can I ask? Did Prophet Muhammad say that Jesus is going to break the cross? Did he say that? Yes. Where, how? Like how did how they? Can you give me the scripture? I really want to read it. No problem. Bear with me. I, I really want to know because. But it's, you know, it's, well, it's not even in your. It's not even in your Quran. In your Quran. Yes. So, but I don't know that in how to write it. Okay. Let me, let me ask you a question. Are we even hungry? We're going to have a minute. Like, we're going to have a minute. No problem. When you say that Jesus said something or Jesus did something, how how do you feel confident? How do you feel oh, sure? Wait, hold on. Do you, think, do you, think, do you, think, do you feel yeah. confident? I know, but I'm asking, how do you feel? What what has driven you to that? Do you Come think on, Do you Holy think Spirit. Jesus? Do you think Jesus, like Jesus, yeah, is a liar? Like everything he says is not true. No, absolutely not. So you you believe in everything he says? Yes, all the messages, whatever so, they say is true. But can someone no, lie Jesus, about them? Can Jesus. someone lie about them? Huh? Can someone lie about them? About who? About, about Jesus. About Jesus. Can someone lie about of course, yeah. yeah. You, you yeah. guys are lying yeah, so now. Why, so, why, so when we tell you something that Jesus said, why do you question it if you think that everything is right? Okay, because we have a messenger who came 600 years after Jesus and he informed us about Jesus in the Quran, which is a preserved book. And he informed us in the hadith. Yeah, I know. Can I tell you? Yes. Can I tell you another scripture that says Jesus is God? Uh huh. Verse Timothy 2. There is one God, one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity. The man Christ Jesus. Jesus is God. Read it again. Verse Timothy 2. For there is one God, one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity. 
the man Christ Jesus. Okay. So Jesus, is he God or the mediator? One he just one said God, this, one, yeah. one, one mediator. God is the mediator. Yes. Yeah. And that's do that's and that's when the explanation of Jesus comes do, do, in. Do you know what a mediator is? Yeah, he reconciled us to Christ. Media, the person that, that literally solves okay, the, the, the 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 conflict that's going on between Say say for example God. you two. Yeah. I hope you don't, but you have an argument, you have a fallout. And then and then this lady here, she comes and tries to make peace between you. She would be the mediator. She's the mediator. So when Jesus, if you believe Jesus is the mediator between mankind and God, then he's not God. He just says it in our words. It says, it says, it says he's the mediator. No, read the word again. Uh, I, mean, I don't get your point. Yeah. Yeah. No, because it's skipping out the God factor. There is one God. There is, there is one God. And the mediator between you're saying the media between you and God is Jesus. You said Jesus, um, he's the, the mediator. How, how, can the, how can the mediator be God if, if, if there's a mediator between you? God is peace. Uh -huh. He's there to solve, solve oh, the, the conflict it, that's here. That's is, why is, is he not, in the flesh. But Jesus said, I haven't come to bring peace. I've come to bring war. He never said that. He didn't say that in the Bible? He said, where? Show me the scripture. Yes. Okay, what is, shall I, bring, what, shall I bring you the hadith about the no, Jesus no, 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 coming no, back? bring me what you just said. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because because he's 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 bring, God is God bring, Jesus is not here to bring with humanity that brings war upon themselves. Okay, Jesus yeah. came Jesus not, <laughs> not, <laughs> not <laughs> to bring war. Like like, you know what? We'll come back. No yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one day, you no problem, no problem. Have a okay. So, what so you I got what? Can, can I? Can you guys just, are you guys like evangelizing? Yeah, yeah. Just, or, or like, what are you doing? Are you here to argue? Yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, argument, argument does happen, obviously. But we no, don't, but is that we're not. Point? Like, is that why you guys stand here? No, no, no. Okay, this is, this is the book of Matthew 10, 34, 36. I'm going to pull up the whole chapter. Read it, read the whole chapter. But if you want, I can read. Okay. read the word. Matthew 10, Do not think I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not to. Br I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Matthew so Jesus, the, the the author, the unknown anonymous author Matthew, he said that Jesus said, "Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword." For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a person's enemies will be those of his own household. Mm -hmm. So I, I was mistaken. He didn't say I've come, but he said I haven't come for peace. I've come with a sword. And Jesus says in Luke that none of you can be my disciple until you hate your mother and your father. Shall I show, shall I show you? Okay. Let, yeah. You pick out, pick out one. You pick out. Okay. Because we haven't one, done that to you. But oh, no problem, no problem. But, but did, did, did Jesus, did Jesus say, I haven't come with peace. I've come with the sword. See, no, but yeah, but you know what the sword is? is? No, let me find out the definition. Do you know what the sword is? Do you know what the sword is? Wait, wait, wait. Do you know what the sword is? Okay, so you see the sword of the Holy Spirit. The sword of the Holy Spirit. This is the word. The word. The word is our spiritual sword. Yeah. You know when you're finding, we find the spiritual realm, right? So when you're finding the spiritual realm, for your spirit to able to battle you use the word and you know we call literally i read it today there was a verse today it yeah. says the sword is our word yeah okay. so we refer a lot God in the bible that the sword is our word so look here we go hebrews 4 12 hebrews 4 12 but the word of the sword is the lamb you use for sword, it is sharper than the sharpest two edged yeah. sword so a lot of the time in the bible you see now you're taking the word of god the word of god is the sword what do you think that when you use a sword you use it and you use it yes but no that's not in the spiritual realm no 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 the point was you said Oh, no problem. Oh okay. my God! You see, in, you, see uh, in, you see, in the spiritual realm, we fight against principality. So for our spirit to be able to battle in the spiritual realm, you also need your sword, and your sword is your word. The word. You see in Matthew chapter. But he still, but he still hasn't come with peace, has he? 
But he still doesn't come in peace. He doesn't come in peace. Let it go. 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 Because he said, I didn't come with peace, but with sword. Yeah, which is the word what the sword was. He said peace, though. Okay, but no, but can we, wait, 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 wait. Can we read the whole, the whole chapter, though? For real? Because y'all already didn't even know what the sword means. So you can't read the chapter, and then we'll come back. I don't know, reflect on the chapter. No problem, no problem. No, we're hungry. Can I just give you one last verse? I'm just waiting. The reception. Okay. Yeah, I need to talk to you. We have a lot of surah. We have a lot of surah. No, but you know, you were supposed to bring up your surah. Yeah, okay. No problem, no problem. Okay. 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 If you, if you want to find it quicker than me, Luke chapter 19, verse 27. This is the this is the parable. This is what we Jesus said. You said after yours, we're gonna bring up ours. So let us bring ours first. Okay, okay. Nineteen twenty-seven. Yes, nineteen. Let me bring up mine. But they trying to see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, they were trying to. They say no, no, that's not what. Okay. So you said we're gonna bring it up. Right. Ah. Okay. So your surah. No, not there's pure and there's sinless. So Jesus was sinless. Jesus was sinless. So what did he do? No, no, no. Yes, he did. It's a thing okay. Sure. Okay. Wait, who did he speak to? He <laughs> married his adopted son's ex-wife. So 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 he, he married he married her. Is, is that is that wrong? Is, is it wrong? No, no, no. I don't know. No, in the Bible you're not allowed to divorce. And whoever is, if a woman is divorced, and then she marries again, she's an adulterous woman in the Bible, in Christianity. But in, in Islam, if a woman is divorced, she's free to be married again. Okay. That's not okay, what so why right the now. Yeah. Is that his mission on earth to marry a woman? No, of course not. His mission okay. was to call people to worship okay, one yeah, God. Okay. Yeah. So you, got, you said Surah 19 verse 19. Jesus was pure. No. Where does it say Surah 19 that? verse 19. Let me get the verse. But what does it say? Pure and without sin, but Prophet Muhammad. It says pure without sin. And Prophet Muhammad had to pray to forgive to Allah to forgive his sin okay. in Surah 40, verse 25. Let me see. So your Muhammad was full of sin, but Jesus was not. Wasn't. Where does it say that he was without sin? Um, 19 verse 19. Is there an English version of the Quran? Uh, yes. Is there an English version of the Quran? Yeah, you can take one with you. Uh, call in the man of Rasul Rabbika, the Ahaba, Laki, Walam, and Zakiya. To give you a pure child, a, a pure child, but that doesn't mean without sin. Are all children born pure, or are they born sinful? Okay, this is when Mary, when Mary, when the angel Gabriel comes to her and gives her glad tidings, she's going to have a son. Okay, and she's going to have a pure child. Does, does a child being pure, does it mean without sin? I mean, as in, it's never going to get sin in its whole life. Are all, are all children, are all children, bo are all children uh, born pure? So, if, so, if, so if a baby dies, paradise or hellfire? No, that's different. She's a baby. Come on, Jesus now. won't judge you uh -huh. unless you know right from wrong. Yeah, it's when okay. you know right from wrong. When you know a baby. Come on, a baby. Now. Let's let's know right from wrong. So a baby's pure. Yeah. Unless, like in the Bible, it tells us to be like a child. Be like, yeah. So many times, because that is when you're. Yeah. Okay. When you're you guys believe you anyone who's below 50, you're going to heaven. Like, yes. I believe that, right? Uh, but how? Yeah. Because you can still be young, you can still be like before 50 and have sin. No, no, you have to You have to intend to commit a sin. As a child, then the pen is lifted. The pen is, you're not responsible for your actions as a child. But the, let's stick to this. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. Wait, okay, so let's say you're 15, you haven't committed, you haven't um, 
No, 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 no. A person has to understand what they're doing is wrong before they they consider sinful. Yeah. yeah. But you said yeah. if you have a hip beauty, you're gonna. The, the scholars they mentioned Tamiz. Tamiz is distinction. You can distinguish between right and wrong. But the thing is, the point is here. Where does it say that Jesus is pure? I did not pure. No, where does it say that he's sinless? Because all children are born pure. Yeah. All children are sinless. You're born sinless. Wait, no, what did you say about the whole Jesus and Muhammad thing? How Muhammad is full of sin. Yeah. But, but I'm, ask, I'm asking you, what sin did he commit? Muhammad? Oh, yeah. that's <laughs> fun. You tell us. Yeah, you, 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 you tell, tell us. us. I'm asking you. You tell us. You tell us. You tell us. What sin did he commit? If, if, no, 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 you know your Muhammad. No, no, no. You would teach us. What did he say? Teach us. Okay. What did he. No, I but can, I'll look it up instead. We gave I'll look it up. No problem. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. No, no, no. The, 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 look. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Are you going to tell us out? Look, but the, the, the thing is just the last point. If you say he is sinful or he committed sins, then obviously the next thing is for me to say yeah, what sin did he commit? Okay, is it you have to pray for forgiveness of his sins to Muhammad? Yes. yes. And so, uh, no. The man that uh -huh. committed sins. So if he didn't have yeah. sin, why would he repent? Okay. The no, thing is the one that oh, uh, uh, the one okay. that committed sin is the one that you're trusting for your for your no, literally your, your, your Quran, to deliver your the, the true word. Yeah, true word. Uh, but Jesus, the, true word the one that's sinless, yeah. the one that you, you guys I saw that he's coming back. Hey, 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 yeah, we need to I really want to understand. Okay, look. The thing is, the thing is, the thing is, look. Firstly, you haven't brought a sin of the Prophet Muhammad's Islam. You haven't what? You haven't brought a okay, sin. Okay, I'll bring it up then. If you, okay. you, you, you want me to bring it? I'll bring it. Um, I'll bring it. Is that a sin? What? He just told me to bring it. Is it a sin? One, so let me bring it. Okay, what's he like, when he slept with her? Yes. I mean, so like, what, what, what is it? Okay. Okay, the Bible. The Bible. Sin books. A simple question. In the Bible, in the Bible, okay, you know the Jesus prays standing up. Jesus prays. Yes. 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 Elderly man to marry. Let's actually be Would you do that? Yes. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Let, but I'm, I'm, ask, but I'm asking you where in, but where, where in the Bible? 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 Where in the Bible does it tell you the age of marriage? No, but it's not about that. A nine-year-old and he's okay. What is the minimum answer? What is the minimum? No, but you know what? So Muhammad yeah. and me. He was let me find it up now. I want to know. And I'm on your like the, 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 website. No, 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 no. Let me find it. Let me, let me find it. I don't is, is it morally okay to worship something created by God? You said. What? You said. That didn't matter. Wait, wait, wait. Is it morally correct to worship something which God has created? God created something. Yeah. Give me one second. You, you said that the marriage of the Prophet Muhammad is something no good, yeah? Yeah? I will ask you this question and compare it to the Prophet Muhammad. Jesus, you believe that he's God. And you believe that he can come from the sky, from the ground, from the tree. He can come from anywhere. Why, why he chose to come from a little girl private park? He became what? Where he come from? He came from a little girl private the park. private park? He was born. Wait, 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 wait. Where he come from? He, he came from a little girl. How else can a human be born? I don't understand the question. Then he come, he come, he come from a little girl, private part. I want to say. Is that Mary was a little girl? Okay, but to be, to be, to be, to be, for a child to be born, she has to come out from a little girl, private part. But he's God. He can come from the tree. Listen, 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 listen. He can come from the tree. He's God. He can come from. How else can a human ascend from the tree? What's the point? Then, then Jesus. What is the age of marriage in the Bible? What's the age of marriage in the Bible? Jesus is human. Jesus is God. Jesus is God. What is the age of marriage in the Bible? Yeah, he can come from the sky, from the ground, from your feet. If you wanted to, he can come. If you wanted to. 
he can come from God. If if he wants to come from the sky, he can come from the sky. If, if he can, if he wants to come from the ground, he can come from yeah. the ground. Then why he choose? Why he choose to come from a little girl private park? That is immoral. That's that's is immoral. That is worse. That's worse. That's worse. That's worse than that's worse. than, 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 than your mommy having sex with you. Yes, yes, yes. Mary didn't even have sex. Oh, you mean if Mary didn't have sex? That's good. Mary didn't have sex. That's good. That's good. That's good. You see now, you see now how you're defending Jesus. You see the hypocrisy. Huh? You see, you see your hypocrisy. No, 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 Oh. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. How, how can God be a humble son? How can God be a humble servant? How can how can God how can how can listen to the question? How can God be a humble servant? No, I want to know you the sins that Okay, one at a time. What is the age of consent in the Bible? I mean, you 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 you. I believe the Bible is a complete book of guidance for all mankind. Yeah. So if you're going to say that someone marrying a nine-year-old is sinful, you have to show me from the Bible it's sinful. But no, but Maybe you didn't, but you what, it's, it's morally sinful. Has she it was that has she yes. So if you were to if you were to go marry a nine-year-old, would you do that? No, I wouldn't. Exactly. No. But the question is because we're living in a different time, a different place. But look, let me let me just say something. You know, if you if you you don't have to accept it from me. Look at English law. Look at American law. The age of marriage before a hundred years, before two hundred years. You 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 know in English law, two hundred years ago you can marry at seven. Okay, okay. You know you know that. What about you know when you said. Yes. You know when you said yes. about you want me to bring up the evidence. Yes. Can I bring up? Scriptures where he confesses yes. sin. Right? Yes. You even you even brought yeah, one. Uh, you want to open it? Okay, uh, I want to read it in English. You guys have the machine gun. That's English. Yeah, but I don't know where to read it. Yeah, I don't know how to read it. No, he was doing the machine gun. No, you guys he, he was no, doing it's fine, it's fine. I spoke I spoke a lot. I spoke a lot. This one here. Sura what? I think it's 48. 48. Yeah, we yeah. Kind of No, but you know. The, the, but you know already that he confessed that he sinned, right? Show me where he could confess his sin. Yeah. I don't know what to use. What's it anyway? We show you. Can I? Can I? I that was the page. You read it. 48, verse 1, no, 1 and 2. Yeah, that's where we what were. Do do? No, no, no. Let me show you again. Yeah, I don't know how to pull up this. Oh, is that what you... Okay. Anna tells me to ask for the people. Thank you so much for the rest of the Thank you so much for the rest of the No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. No! No! That part to me, then I'll leave it. Okay. What does that mean? Be patient, O Muhammad. Indeed, the promise of Allah is truth. Yes. And ask forgiveness for your sin. And exalt with praise of your Lord in the evening and the morning. Okay, hold this. Yeah. I'm going to see He's what the, bring out the explanation is. The, the, the scholars, the scholars, the scholars are. The, no, no, no. What's the other What's the other hadith? hadith? The hadith. No, no, no. no. It's an explanation. But yes. Why can't you just explain yourself? Yeah. Because I have to give a correct answer, isn't it? Is that okay? No, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. But can you... I know yeah, it's Oh yeah, bro, my God! Okay. Right in our faces. I'm not gonna end up against you. Let me see. <laughs> Wait, can I ask you this? Do you see how you guys live in Allah? No, I just want to ask, no, just a simple question. What makes you 
Plus, he give me evidences. Yeah? For these give evidences, I have no doubt that the belief that he's created. Well, no, I mean, apart. Can, can we get back to the conversation? No, no, no. Wanna... He's finding his thing. Are you oh, done? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you done? Sorry, yes, sorry. You done? I'm done. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought you were I'll just try No that. problem. So, whether you accept it or not, Ibn Kathir. Please don't ask. Don't even try to ask another question. Answer the question. Because yeah. you like to question no. without the answer. <laughs> Did I do that? Yeah, yeah you do it a lot. <laughs> I will check. Okay. So Ibn Kathir is one of the early Muslim scholars. He mentioned here... Wait, this is from a scholar, not from the, the actual... Right? Yeah. Right. Yes, 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 right, yes. Cool. Yeah. So, wait, so, so it's an opinion? This is an opinion? Yes. Okay. No, let me read it. 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 Let me read Someone that has an opinion that has studied the Quran or studied oh, the Quran. That has a degree in it or whatever. Okay. So we don't have an opinion on the Quran. Okay. Answer the question. This is questions even for me. These are the questions. Thank you. Okay. So, wastakfalli dhambik. So seek forgiveness for your sin. Yeah. This Ibn Kathir said, "Hada tahyid al ummah al istighfar." This is to encourage the ummah, the followers of the Prophet Muhammad Sallam, to seek forgiveness. Yes. No, no, so, but, yes. but, that, but, but does it mean that he sinned or he? So did he lie? Okay. Yeah, is he a lie? Is he a lie or? No. So he did sin. No. Let me explain to you. Okay, explain. In the Quran, I'll give you many ex examples where the Prophet Muhammad has been commanded with something, but the intent is his followers. Okay, so here Ibn Kathir, whether you accept it or not, Ibn Kathir is saying that when the when Allah said to the Prophet Ibn Kathir, that's the person's name. Oh, the person. yeah. yeah, he said in this verse, when Allah told the Prophet to seek forgiveness for your sins, it is. A, it's encouragement for the followers of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu to seek forgiveness no, but then for their wouldn't sins. He have, wouldn't uh -huh. he have just directly said, guys, make sure you ask for forgiveness, not say for himself, Lord, I mean, this, forgive me for my this, sin. He okay. said, my, no my problem. sin. But I am what I'm a no, no, no problem, no problem. No, no, I'm just... Okay. No, problem, no problem. This is the style of Quran. I can give you many verses where the Prophet Sallallahu is commanded with something, but the end is the followers. Whether you accept it or not, still the question comes back to you because his whole life is documented. Where he was born, Wait, who his parents were. Let, let me finish. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Because you're asking another question. No, yeah, but no I'm, I'm trying to explain. His whole life is documented. Yeah. So if you say he's a sinner, I would expect a sin that he committed, meaning he disobeyed God. So what? So from your knowledge, yeah. he doesn't say what sin he committed in the Quran. Now I'm asking you as a, are you no. a mom? No, 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 so I'm an I'm I'm everyday person. Okay. Yes. Well, now I'm just asking you, yes. in, in the Quran yes. that you've read, does it say, be okay. honest, don't lie, you can go to hell for lying. No problem. Be honest, yes. does it say in the Quran what sin he committed, or are you just trying to... No. Does it say, it doesn't say? No. So wouldn't you, wouldn't you classify that as a confusion then? Because so what that guy has done is just an, imp, an interpretation, okay. right? It's not what... Let me explain to you, let me explain to you. For all you know, you could be just... When it, comes to the, when it comes to the messengers, those who are chosen by God to deliver a message, we say they are free from committing major sins. Major? Oh, you guys measure sins. Yes, oh, they, can, yeah, they can commit errors, but... Oh, for, for, for example, we don't believe that Suleiman worshipped idols. We don't believe that David committed adultery. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. We don't believe that Lot committed incest with his two daughters. Okay. The problem is, even in the Bible, the Bible is showing you that Jesus did commit sins, which we don't attribute to him. Okay. In the Bible, what, what is the sin of cursing your parents? Pardon? What is the sin of disrespecting your parents in the oh, Bible? I know what you're trying to see. You know, you know that, you know that, have you read the part in the Bible where um, Jesus went to the temple to preach uh, the gospel, but his mom was waiting for him at home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't tell his mom where he was going. He didn't tell his no, mom no, where he was going. No, no, I'm worse than that. Are you talking about that? Madam, 
I, I, I spoke a lot, but I need to go and pray. Can I be? Can I be excused? Yeah, we were gonna. This conversation right. was good. No problem. We're here every Saturday. You yeah, can bring more of your arguments. Did you want to take it? Thank you very much for your time. Alhamdulillah.